Greetings and salutations, all you digital kings and queens. It's Eric, your course coordinator for Computer Science 302, coming back at you, this time to talk about a different analysis technique. So far we've covered outliers, we've covered cluster analysis, and today we're going to talk about linear regression. So let's start by defining that. So we're going to define a regression as identifying a function that best approximates observed data. And a linear regression is identifying a line, aka you're looking for a linear function, that best approximates your observed data. So what that may look like in practice is if you have a series of data points and you have them graphed out on an axis, then you might be able to describe a line that best fits all of those data points so that you might be able to make projections of where data points might be headed in the future. So using a linear regression, we describe a line that best fits those data points, and now you, as a researcher, are able to better extrapolate what these results may lead to, or what they mean. You can interpret the data in a more meaningful way. So heading back over to Tableau, let's use our Austin crime data from 2014 and see if we can't find data points that we can use to model a linear regression. One immediate possibility that comes to mind is that we can map crime and the frequency of crime over time and see whether we can determine whether the crime is increasing or decreasing as time goes on. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to double click on number of records, and again that brings all 40,000 crimes into Tableau. And instead of just looking at all of them, I want to look at them over time, so my x-axis is going to be time. And up here in dimensions, you can see that there is a report date for that crime. I'm going to drag that over into the columns. And at first, it's going to default to year. And if we press the down arrow right here, we can actually change that. I want to look at month instead. So let's look at this by month. When I click that, we can now see a line. The problem here is that the line is jagged, and it's moving up and down according to how many crimes are reported in each month. And we're kind of just looking at um, crimes overall as well, so maybe we can be more specific with what type of crime we're looking at. So if you'll recall, we can use this filters box over here to look at specific types of crime. So I'm going to drag highest offense over there. Let's select something like theft, click apply, and now we have the number of reported cases of theft by month in Austin. Here's where Tableau takes what could be a very complicated math formula and makes it pretty simple for us. Over here on the left, we have been using this data tab primarily. There's also another tab over here called analytics. If I click that, it's going to bring up a whole new menu. And one of the options is trend line. Now if I take trend line and I drag it over onto our graph, it's going to give me an option of a couple different types of trend lines. And one of them just happens to be a linear line, a linear trend line. So let's drop it there and now we can see uh, a linear regression that describes theft cases in the city of Austin over time. Now of course all data tells a story and it's up to you digital detectives to be able to determine what that story is. Here we can clearly see um, that theft is in fact increasing, albeit very slightly, over time in 2014. It's becoming more of a reported issue as time goes on. One way which we might be able to use this data would be to perhaps compare it to overall crime in the city of Austin, see if theft is increasing while overall crime is increasing or decreasing. Um, so we can get two uh, linear regressions uh, to compare side by side. So to do that, what I would do down here is I would right click on linear regression, I would duplicate this sheet, and down here we'll see that the sheet is duplicated. Then I come up here and I can clear this filter off, so then it's going to be going back to all crime, and we can see that 
also all crime in Austin is on a slightly upward tick, and that seems to model well uh, with theft. That seems to describe that behavior pretty well. So your task now, my digital natives, is to go through our crime data and see if you can find a specific crime which has a more exaggerated slope to the linear regression. See if you can find a crime that is either increasing or decreasing at a greater rate than what we've determined here for theft. And that's going to about wrap us up. As always, this is your course coordinator, Eric, for OnRamps Computer Science 302, signing out. We'll see you next time.